thinking about some of the tools that I use um, for obviously coding stuff. Um, a lot of like people have been asking me how I've sort of got into it. Um, if you need to obviously any sort of channel that you're watching this on, I used to be a car painter. Um, and obviously I've just done the transition into the tech industry. Um, and yeah, so basically I'm just going to be running through some of the tools that I use um, and how I sort of went about it, really. Um, so yeah, here we go. <laughs> Alright everybody, so basically where we're going to start off is you need to decide where you want to be. Where do you want to go? Do you want to go like cyber security? Do you want to, you know, website design? What, what do you want to do? Um, the more you decide that, the more you're going to know on obviously what you need to learn. Um, so for example, let's go online. If you were doing like some sort of cyber security role, something like that, you know, you might want to, yeah, let's, let's go on solo then and let's just do a little, so obviously there are loads of, um, websites and stuff that give you free resources now you've got introduction to python c c c sharp uh, sql html um it's all depending on what you want to do guys all right so if you want to learn ethical hacking i would suggest look up ethical hacking languages um you know, and like you say, what you want to know about, like, because obviously you need to learn about actual internet security and stuff like that. So it's not just like Python and stuff, you know what I mean? Like databases and all that sort of stuff. A lot of that, you know, I, I don't even know, guys, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, like, different sectors, you've got different, like, languages and different things. It's not just, there isn't just this all C and code, well there is, but <laughs> that's binary, and machine and all that sort of stuff. Um, but basically guys, yeah, go to somewhere like Solo Learn or um, Code Academy. It's another brilliant resource. Um, like you say, for you to check it all out. Um, you know, teach you about chat GPT, Java, stuff like that. Also as well there is a difference between JavaScript and Java. A lot of even like my friends are like, oh do you know Java and you know JavaScript, blah blah blah. It's like they're they're two completely different languages. Um the only reason JavaScript was named JavaScript was because Java was a popular language and the man himself was like, I need to bring more publicity to this, so he called it JavaScript because then obviously everybody was like, Oh, what's this? Um so I mean yeah these are sort of like what the places where you want to go because they will tell you what to learn you know so I'm learning web development I've, I've learned HTML CSS JavaScript you know what I mean obviously I'm now looking into things like node and stuff like that whereas if you were learning something else it would be completely different you know HTML and CSS is completely irrelevant to you um, so you decided what language you want to go down. Obviously, these places they they have, you know, playgrounds. They have code playgrounds in them, so that you can learn on the website how you're doing it. Okay, um, I'm just trying to think of anything else. So obviously, these are all your resources. Official documentation. I normally go to MDN Web Docs. Um, this is basically where I, I look up anything that I really need to know um, without obviously asking for help off of somebody that, you know, works for a big company that can answer my questions. <laughs> um, yeah, so obviously, you know, this is what I would use. I would presume that if you were in a different sector, you would have a different source, but I'm just saying there are obviously resources out there that can help you do your job and help you learn as well so whatever field you're going into don't just like 
use the website that teaches you see if there is like an industry standard you know what I mean is there like a proper reference website you know what I mean not just a company that's trying to sell you their course you know what I mean um, right so that is pretty much what I sort of use for learning and referencing as well as sort of BSD YouTube I mean you've got like brilliant channels like bro code teaches you you know Python you know all the databases SQL stuff like that um, you, you know there's a lot of people out there um, Kyle web, uh, web dev simplified if you want stuff like that as well Kevin Powell um, just yeah obviously that's that's if you're doing web dev stuff guys all right you know what I mean I'm just saying like um, also as well you know it just opens up many more fields for you you know just any sort of coding in general so we're going to go on to the next bit that I want to talk, to talk about which is basically the programs that you use now obviously depending on what you do all right so um, for example if you were doing like C and stuff like that you would use like Arduino I can never say the word properly um, but basically they they've got their own ID you could call it um, I'm just trying to find a picture just to sort of show it's obviously all my stuff's on my um, Raspberry Pi so I don't really do any ID stuff on here um, but yeah so there's these guys obviously have their own stuff for if you were doing like circuit making and you were using C alright but if so like for example I use VS Code now you can do C and everything in VS Code as well obviously I haven't I haven't done that I've, I'm just telling you that's what I've heard through the grapevine alright um, see look so like, like as you can see right now I'm going through videos with bro code but let's just close that down and you can see what I mean so this is VS code or visual studio code all right you can download this or you can run it in browser so you don't even have to download you see what I mean you can just go straight you can go download or they do do a um, online uh, browser built version sorry brain went dead um, and yeah obviously in VS code you know this is what I use a lot of people use like sublime text um, crazy people use notepad <laughs> stuff like that um, so yeah I mean this is sort of just what I wanted to show everybody because a lot of people have been like how well how is this is how I, I got on the computer and I, I, you know, I look for these, you know, you know, like code, coding resources, you know, I, I physically got on and, like you say, found things that were just, like you say, Code Academy, stuff like that, you know, we preschools, some people moan about this, I, I found some good stuff on there. Um, a lot of it is obviously like a little bit out of date and stuff so take it with a pinch of salt or right, if you see anything on Wii3 just sort of maybe look it up somewhere else as well just to clarify that maybe that is how it's still um, going um, but yeah I can't really think of anything else to sort of say because that I mean apart from obviously you know all your hosting platforms and stuff but that's obviously like something you know you're not going to know about any of that if you're literally just looking into getting into code and that is what this video is about um i mean hopefully guys you know this sort of helps you into how and what you know what what to do what to start off with you know nobody is going to give you like the answers like that you have to you know yeah you can watch videos like this and they'll teach you some things but if you don't get up and physically look for more products and 
you know, it's all about what you do, isn't it? Um, but yeah, guys, I just wanted to sort of show you, you know, the the average, um, you know, I mean, sort of stuff that I do. I mean, here's Herd of Man, for example, um, you know, and obviously we'll go live. <coughs> this will start and start a web page on your your own local browser. This isn't online. This is just made of the browser for us. So this is something that I just made up, just for basically just for fun. Um, you know, so obviously you can apply more things to it all the time. You see what I mean? There's always growth. You know, the world is your oyster. You can just make websites. I don't know why that's taking so long to open. To be fair, it's a big file. Um, but yeah, you know, just just thought I'd show you really because I a lot of my friends ask me, and it's like here, like this, all this, this is HTML. You know, this is CSS. I mean, this far I haven't even got any JavaScript in it yet, because it's all in the actual. Because long story short, you can place JavaScript in different places, but conversation for another time. Um, but yeah, guys, just like you say, I hope you, you know, enjoy this video. I hope it does help some people out. Um, you know, if you want to get into any sort of you know, code, this is pretty much where you start just looking online for resources and stuff. You know, you have got the capability. You know, that's the main thing is you need to realise that you have got the capability. This isn't like this isn't back in the day when nobody had the online resources that we have now. Like you know, you can literally just bang 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 and that's it, you've learnt loads, it's up to you. Alright, so, I mean, yeah, just take from this video what you will. It's just to help you. Alright, um, I hope you all enjoy. And um, if there's anything else you want to know about, or, you know, I, I have been thinking about actually doing HTML videos and CSS videos, but that's a conversation for another time again. Um, but yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. And, uh, See you later.